Hello, welcome to Turtle Playground B. This playground allows you to be far more creative than Turtle Playground A. There are more tools tucked away in two separate menus, the Turtle menu and the Color menu. The system is the same. You create programs by dragging blocks into the workspace. There are three new buttons up here that allow you to save your images and save your program as you go along. These are explained in a separate video. You will also notice that there is a new image for the turtle to move around on. This is designed to help you be more creative and make more interesting pictures. It has a scale running along the top and down the side. This enables you to place the turtle in certain places with the set position block, which is new this time. Supposing we wanted to draw a circle around here, then we would want to take the turtle to 300, that's 300 across here, and 100 down. When we run that, our turtle jumps to that position. Having got there, we'll find there's some other new blocks. We've got a stamp block. That stamps a picture of your turtle wherever it is that you want it to stamp. So we could take the turtle over there, stamp it, and then return to its starting position, which is 200 across and 200 down. Let's run that. Now it looks like there's two turtles, but that one's just an image. This is the turtle we're in control of. We've got a hide turtle block that's new, the pen up or pen down block that you've used before, the stamp block I've just described, and the set width block is interesting. Let's get the set width block and also go into the color tools and set the color to red. We have all of those colors available to us. Now we could get the turtle to move forward a hundred pixels. Let's see what happens. First of all we'll reset the program and run it. The turtle has turned to red, the line it draws has gone red, and the width of the line is 10 pixels. Let's make the line 100 pixels and see what happens. Whoa, that's rather a wide line. Let's set the width back to 10. Sometimes you might not be able to decide what color you want. So you can set the color to a random one. That leaves it up to the computer to choose what color. So if we reset, the computer's chosen a royal blue type of color this time. But without changing the program and running it again, it's now a light green. There's one more new block to show you and that's the draw shape block. This one, we can choose to draw a square, a triangle, a circle, or a star. The interesting thing about the square is we could change the color to white, 
we could draw a square that's huge and then and then we can set the color back again to our brown color and this will draw a square that's so big it doesn't fit on the turtle drawing area. Let's reset, run it. So if you don't like the background provided, it's very easy to get rid of it. You then just have to use the turtle to draw your own. That ends the introduction to Turtle Playground B. I hope you find it exciting to use and create some amazing images.